are heading to San Andreas today. The sea, the sea of seven colors. First, we gotta fly to Bogota. We are leaving Cali this morning. We're gonna stop in Bogota for about 35 minutes, and then we're on a straight shoot from Bogota to San Andreas. I cannot wait. On the flight in Bogota, we made the connection. Next up, San Andres. Henrietta, as it's also known as. What more fitting for us to go to an island named after our favorite drummer, John Fishman, Henrietta. San Andres, we are here. We just landed, we're about to get off the plane. Boom. Coming to San Andreas, you have to pay an additional um, tourist fee, a tourist tax to get to San Andreas. Ended up costing us about 342,000 COP, which is about $80. Uh, we paid for three people. Kestrel was free because she was under seven years old. Uh, and then it's like coming into customs for this island. Yeah. You have your customs officials checking that you paid the tax. We just got to our house here in uh, San Andres. Uh, we're on the eastern side of the island, kind of on the southern end. Uh, not quite at the complete southern end, but pretty close. Uh, it's about 20, 25 minute drive from the airport. Pretty simple. Uh, it's a pretty small island, and it's a super Rasa vibe. Apparently all the locals, even though it's Colombia, all the locals are uh, Caribbean. They speak Creole, Padua, and English and all the Car Colombians that come here are the ones that speak the Spanish. So, I think we're gonna fit in. <laughs> we're really excited. Uh, it's definitely got a real Rasta reggae feel and vibe. And it's got two places on it. We're right across the street from the beach. So it's not beachfront, but we're right there. And uh, we're gonna go up. This place ended up costing us about $60 a night. Um, as opposed to some of the nicer places we saw in town, we're on an average of about a hundred bucks a night. <laughs> What's wrong? Jeff, get your coconut open. Oh my gosh, don't throw things off. So this is our porch, our balcony. We got Sequoia in, <laughs> in our hammock. And let's go in and check it out. It's a two bedroom. A little warm in here, but it looks like we have air conditioning units. This is the living room, dining room area. And I mean, it's a real simple beach house type of vibe. That's all we got. We got the kids' room. They're gonna share a bed, or Sakura might sleep on the sofa. She likes doing that. Um, I'm sure Kesha's gonna make good use of that crib with her baby doll that she has. Coming in here, we have our kitchen. Uh, one nice thing that I did like about this, as opposed to most of the other places here in Colombia, is that they actually did provide some water for us to drink. Uh, that one comes with a pump that you gotta turn off and on and off to pump some water out. Uh, real simple kitchen. Has a nice coffee maker though. And uh, we have our bathroom here. 
kind of interesting setup, <laughs> like a fake hallway. But we got our bathroom, pretty nice, pretty standard. It'll do just fine. And then this will be Maystar in my room. Again, simple. We have a nice little entrance out to the patio as well. And that's what you get for 60, 65 bucks a night here in San Andres. Uh, it looks amazing. <laughs> so excited about this place. Uh, really excited to be in a Rasa vibe. Uh, really excited to be on a beach with those beautiful blue colors we've been looking for. Get out of your comfort zone and remember to keep wondering.